Hello, crypto world. Welcome to The Chart Historian. My name is Justin, and on this channel, I delve deep into crypto charts, exploring chart structures, fractals, and patterns. So today, I have the XRP chart open, and you know what? Speaking of my last video, this video has been hit with a bunch of YouTube view bots, and I, I, don't, I didn't even know what that was until this started happening. I got a ton of views, so much so that YouTube actually started to remove them, and it's really weird. They are appearing at the very end of the video. So it's, it's something that doesn't make much sense. I've done some research on it. From what I gather, it is a bad thing. It's not good. They're not normal. They're not natural. They're not organic. So um, I don't know. Maybe some of you guys know more about it, but um, YouTube has been removing some of the views, and I, it's it's annoying. I don't know what recourse I have to to combat it, but um, hopefully this this stops. Anyways, I have the XRP chart open, and as you can see, price has been moving upwards, and this is nice however it's important to know that this most likely will come down here to uh, it's going to drop put it that way at some point you I'm, I'm suspecting it may drop around here we'll have to see so i just zoomed out a bit so there's this fractal over here that i've been posting on twitter and on my youtube community chat showing that this could be a potential guide for what is happening here. We'll see. It's not an exact match. I'll post it here. So it's it's been following the basic outline of it. You have the bounce here, the bounce here. This move up is probably more this right here. It drops here. Same with the fractal. Let me zoom in a bit more. So it's now getting close to this point where it can potentially drop. Now, if you recall from some of my previous videos, this is also a likely spot where a fractal can break or the chart can break from the fractal. So we could see it continue to just to go sideways. It could move up. It could also follow this. Let me undo this real quick. So if you go back and look at XRP history at this time in the chart, after it moves into this fractal one of the sideways range bound time, this drops. Let's go back and examine a few of these so you can understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are back in 2018 slash 19. This is the time zone that I'm concerned with. However, just a quick little recap of the way I view this chart. So it is my belief that XRP is a repetitive structure and this peak right here that took place, which is the current all-time high in 2000, what is it, 18, and then proceeded into a decline or a bear market. It is my belief that this whole structure right here, this, this decline, is a repetitive structure that repeats over and over again on every single major decline, whether it's this one right here, whether it's this one right here, whether it's this one right here, or the ones that took place over here. It looks unique every single time, and that is because every time a fractal repeats, its height, depth, and timing are different. However, the fundamental structure is the same. I go into detail and in depth on this concept in my previous XRP videos, so if you go through my XRP videos, you'll get a good understanding of this structure. It then enters into a sideways range-bound time that exists between a bear market and the next bull run. So it, in this case, here you have the decline, here you have that range bound sideways time, and here is the next bull run. Here you have the peak of that bull run, you have the decline or the bear market, and then here you have that range bound sideways time that exists before the next bull run. Here we have the decline. And we can know that this decline has come to its completion by the separate fractals that are involved in this structure. Again, please go back and watch some of my previous XRP videos to learn about the different fractals that make up this decline, the different fractals that make up this range bound sideways time. So in the decline, you have roughly around six fractals. Sometimes one of them is not there, and so it's five. In this range bound sideways time, you have three fractals. So it is this range bound sideways time that we have just entered in over here. 
and it is the focus of this next little subject right here. So starting in 2018, let's look at this right here. Okay, so here is that sideways range bound time. It's actually a bit more like this. And so it moves up here, and as you can see, it comes down to a point, and then it does this thing. So I believe we potentially have completed this part already, and we are now in this section right here. But as you can see, it still drops. So I believe, currently at least, my current theory is that we are doing this pattern or this basic structure where it goes up like this, and then it goes sideways slash flat before moving up into fractal two, which is right here. So there's three fractals in all in this whole entire time. So this whole entire time c consists of three fractals. Fractal two would be roughly around here, and then fractal three would be roughly around here. So back to fractal one, as you can see, it drops right here. It comes back down. Let's go further back and we can see how it always comes down in this in this structure where it goes flat and sideways. This one is a slightly different structure. It's also a sideways range bound time. Um, this one does a little, the structure is a little different. It continues to fall be, until it comes to the end of fractal one and it goes back up into fractal two. Let's look at another one of these so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is another example. This is kind of near the beginning of the XRP chart. So this took place in 2014. This was the decline, and then it moved into this sideways range-bound time here. And this is the first fractal of that range-bound time. So the entire range-bound time is here. This here is roughly fractal one. I'm going to zoom in so we can get a good picture of this. Okay, so as you can see, it moves up in the first part. If you're familiar with some of my previous videos, I divide this fractal one into two different parts, part A, which consists of this peak right here, and then part B, which consists of this part where it goes down to a point before moving back up into the next fractal, fractal two. This is actually its low point, so I would consider all this the, the peak, part A right here, and then this part B. So as you can see, it, it basically comes to a, it comes down roughly to a low spot before moving back up. And it's also important to note that it's never perfectly flat either. Like this is actually trending downward. All of them trend in some direction. Some tend to trend upward. Some tend to trend sideways and downward. Um, this one is for the most part flat, but it does have a slight downwards trajectory back in 2018 slash 19, the one we just looked at actually went below this capitulation point. So that is also a potential possibility. And if it does happen where it goes below the capitulation fractal, it's not the end of the world. It will pull back up eventually, but that is something that historically has happened and therefore it is a potential in today's chart. Okay, so here we are back at today's chart and this is on a three hour candle. So this would be part A and now we are in part B. So part B, just like we saw in 2018 slash 19 and 2014, this part does eventually come down. Now how low it will go, I'm not sure. I'm speculating or guessing potentially around this area, could be around this area, but I would expect something like that to play out. Now let's quickly jump over to Bitcoin. And I believe this ties in. Now this fractal right here is from here. I believe something like this is potentially in the cards. How this plays out is still yet to be seen. This could potentially be, um, it could still do, it could be in this phase right here, then it moves up still even higher, roughly to around this level, 17, 18K before doing the dump. We'll have to see. This one is kind of a more rounded peak right here, um, but it could potentially do something more like this and then drop or like this. And this structure right here actually resembles more this or this right here taking place. So this could be doing something like 
sorry, this could be doing something like this here, and then this drop could be an exaggerated thing like this. It is very, I've talked about this before, it is very common, it, actually in my last Bitcoin video, for it to rear up like this before dropping. So it goes sideways, and then it kind of rears up, and then it drops. So that is a potential uh, thing to be on the lookout. And if this does happen, this will affect XRP. XRP will drop. It may not drop as drastically as it is here. Now, this is a potential target. Uh, I'm not saying that it will hit here, $11,773. That is a potential target. The other possible potential target is the 100-month moving average, which would be here. They are... Um, not too far apart, these two possible targets. So those are two potential targets to kind of keep in mind. Okay, so back to the XRP chart. So just be prepared for this to decline. Well, that will complete this latest update on XRP. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, it'd be much appreciated if you smash that thumbs up button. And if this type of technical analysis is something you find interesting, if you have not subscribed yet, please think about subscribing. You'll be notified when I put out new content. I cover XRP quite regularly, and I will be continuing to cover the patterns and structures as they develop. One other thing, I am not a financial advisor, so none of this information that I present here should be construed or be used as financial or investment advice. I'm so glad you caught this video. I hope you catch my next one. Have a great day, and bye for now.